Tommy DeVito is a great story and he's earned his place in the league. But I think we need to pump the brakes a little bit before we decide he's the Giants' future QB. I agree. I think he's a great story for this season and the season has been obviously very disappointing for them. Uh, but it gives the fans something to cheer for. I think he's been great. I mean, he's got a 96 passer rating in the four or five games he's played. But no, I haven't seen enough evidence that he's the quarterback of the future. It's only a matter of time before the teams figure out what he's great at, what he doesn't like to do. And you'll see some reverting back to the mean. So we'll see. I, I think for now, it just gives them something to cheer for because it's not a lot to cheer for uh, if you're in New York at all. <laughs> Well, look, I mean, they're all of a sudden, I guess you could say, working themselves back into the, the playoff hunt if, if things break incredibly well in their favor. But we always overfocus on the quarterback, right? And, and DeVito has been, been good. He made a clutch throw against the Packers, but he's only got one game over 200 yards passing since he took over the job there. A lot of other things have changed for the Giants as well. Namely, the offensive line is providing some more protection than they did earlier in the year. And the defense has become a, a solid unit after, you know, getting run over at the beginning of, of the, the season as well. And, and those two differences make a big difference r regardless of who's playing quarterback.